another video on fun math. Today let's discuss about trigonometric ratios of some useful angles. What are those useful angles? Okay, today let's discuss about trigonometric ratios of angles 18 degrees and 36 degrees. First, let's see sine 18 degrees. Sine 18 degrees. How can we find the value of that? How can we find the value of sine 18 degrees? Think of it yourself. Okay, it may be, it may seem somewhat difficult, but let's use a, let's use something different. First, let's prove this by taking theta as 18 degrees. Let 18 degrees be theta, angle theta. Then what would be 5 theta? You may know about this. If theta is 18 degrees, what will be 5 theta? It will be 90 degrees. 90 degrees. What is the speciality of 90 degrees? We know all identities of trigonometry like sine 90 minus theta, cos 90 minus theta. So we got 90 to be somewhat easy. So 5 theta is 2 theta plus 3 theta. Now subtract 3 theta on both sides. Then 3 theta and negative 3 theta cancels out in the left hand side. And then you will get 2 theta is equal to 90 minus 3 theta. Then apply sine on both sides. Sine 2 theta is equal to sine 90 minus 3 theta. Sine 2 theta is nothing but 2 sine theta cos theta. That is equal to cos 3 theta. We got 2 sine theta cos theta is equal to cos 3 theta. Now substitute the value of cos 3 theta. I hope you know about how to, what is the value or what is the formula for cos theta. If you don't know, you can prove it on your own or you can search on internet. If you want to prove on your own, cos 3 theta means it is cos theta plus 2 theta. Substitute those values and you know values for 2 thetas, right? Sin 2 theta cos 3 theta. Substitute those values and you will get the value of cos 3 theta. Okay, you will get 2 sin theta cos theta is equal to the value of cos 3 theta is 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta. Now multiply with 1 by cos theta on both sides. Then cos theta and cos theta cancels out in the LHS. And you will get 2 sin theta is equal to in RHS also it cancels out. You will get 4 cos square theta minus 3. Cos square theta is nothing but 1 minus sin square theta. So 4 into 1 minus sin square theta minus 3. 4 into 1 minus sin square theta is nothing but 4 minus 4 sin square theta, right? And now 4 minus 3 is 1. 1 minus 4 sin square theta. Now let sin square theta is equal to s. Or you can do like that, but let's take a substitution. Sin theta is equal to s. Then you will get this minus 4 sin square theta comes to the LHS, then it will become 4 s square plus 2 s minus 1 is equal to 0 and now it is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c or in the form of a quadratic equation what does that mean you can solve that by using formula that is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac here a is 4 and b is 2 and c is minus 1 if you substitute those values, s is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of b square means 2 square, it is 4. Minus 4 into a into c. 4 into a is 4. 4 into 4 16 into c minus 16. Minus 16 and this minus 16 becomes positive. So it becomes square root of 4 plus 16. Minus 2 plus or minus square root of 20 by 4. s is equal to. Now if you simplify that s is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 by 4. Why? Because 20 is 4 into 5. Square root of 4 into 5 means square root of 4 is 2 into square root of 5 by 4. Now you can take 2 common. It becomes sin theta is equal to 2 into 1, min, 1, 1 minus 1 plus or minus root 5 by 2. 2 cancels 4 twice. So I will get sin theta is equal to minus 1 
plus root 5 by 2. Okay, why plus what happened to negative? Because we took sine 18 degrees, right? Sine 18 degrees will have a positive value because theta lies in between 0 and pi by 2. So, sine 18 degrees have positive value. So, minus 1 minus root 5 means it is negative value. So, you can take off that. So, I will get sine 18 degrees is equal to root 5 minus 1 by 2. Okay, and the formula for cos 18 degrees is square root of 10 plus 2 root 5 by 4. Okay, you may think I just show you the formula. How can we do that? Okay, I just show you the formula because you should solve that. If you solve that, your mathematical knowledge will increase. So, solve that on your own. How can we solve that? Just cos theta is square root of 1 minus sin square theta, right? Here theta is 18 degrees. Cos 18 degrees is square root of 1 minus sin square 18 degrees. We know sin 18 degrees. Substitute that, you will get this value. And cos 30 degrees. Cos 36 degrees. I said in this video we are also going to discuss about 36 degrees, right? Cos 36 degrees is square root of 5 plus 1 by 4. As before, solve it on your own. How to solve it? Cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square theta. Cos 2 theta. Substitute, you know, sin theta. Here theta is 18 degrees. So, substitute sin 18 degrees in that value and then you will get the answer. And sine 36 degrees is square root of 10 minus 2 root 5 by 4. This is also by the same way you can get by substituting sine theta is equal to square root of 1 minus cos square theta. Okay guys, I hope you enjoy this video. If you enjoy this video, like, like the video and subscribe to this channel. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I will answer them in the next video.